Welcome to Algebra 2 Lesson 3.8. Today we're going to be talking about solving linear systems using inverse matrices. Um, so the first thing we need to talk about are identity matrices. An identity matrix is basically works as a 1 as far as multiplication goes um, for square matrices. So there's an identity matrix for 2 by 2 matrices. There's one for 3 by 3 matrices. And the cool thing about them is if you multiply them by a matrix of that same size, you just end up with the original matrix back again. Just like if you take a number like 3 and multiply it by 1, you just end up back with 3. It preserves the identity of 3. Well, if you take a matrix A that's 2 by 2 and you multiply it by the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, then you're going to end up back at A. And that's why it's called an identity matrix because it preserves the identity of the matrices it multiplies. And so for a 2 by 2, um, you have ones down the main diagonal going from left to right and zeros everywhere else. That pattern continues. So for a 3 by 3, you have ones going down the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. And for a 4 by 4, or 5 by 5, all of those you would see the same pattern continue. Okay, now, along with the idea of identity, there's an idea of inverse. Um, and that's going to be the matrix that... Um, kind of undoes what the original matrix does. And when you multiply them together, you end up at 1. So when two square matrices multiply to equal their corresponding identity matrix, the two square matrices are inverses of each other. The symbol for the inverse of A is A and then with a superscript of negative 1. Okay, the inverse of a 2 by 2 square matrix is... Um, a 2 by 2 square matrix has an inverse matrix, there should be a word inverse here, if AD minus BC does not equal 0. And the reason it can't equal 0 is because it's going to be in the denominator of a fraction here in a second. So the inverse of matrix A equaling ABCD is A inverse 1 over AD minus BC, so the product along the main diagonal minus the product along the secondary diagonal, times the matrix DA, so or D, and then A is over here in the lower right-hand corner, so A and D have switched positions. And then on the secondary diagonal, you've got negative B, negative C. They don't switch positions, they just change signs. And again, this is when AD minus BC is not equal to zero, because we don't want to divide by zero. Okay, so we're going to find the inverse of A equals 3, 8, 2, 5. So little a is 3, little b is 8, little c is 2, and little d is 5. So for a inverse, you're going to have 1 over a d is 3 times 5, so that's 15, minus b c, so that's 18. And then we swap out a and d, so we've got 5 in the upper left, 3 in the lower right, and then we change the sign along the secondary diagonal. And then we just do 15 minus 16 is negative 1, 1 over negative 1 is negative 1 times 5, negative 8, negative 2, 3, so that changes all the signs, and we have negative 5, 8, 2, negative 3. And if we take this matrix and multiply it by our original matrix, we're going to end up with 1, 0, 0, 1. Because of that, we can solve a matrix equation in the form AX equals B. Now, one thing you need to know is you may look at that and go, well, if we're trying to solve for X, why don't we just divide both sides by matrix A? There is no such thing as matrix division. So we have to multiply by inverses to get rid of the A. So we want to get X by itself. The way we do that when we have a matrix is by multiplying by its inverse. So we're going to take A inverse. We're going to multiply on the left. We're going to multiply that by AX. We're going to do the same thing on the other side of the equation. We're going to do A inverse times B. Well, A inverse times A is the identity times X equals A inverse times B. Well, the identity times X is just going to be X. So X equals A inverse times B. Okay, so we're going to solve the matrix equation AX equals B for the 2 by 2 matrix X. And let's see, our A matrix is 2, negative 7, negative 1, 4 times X equals our B matrix, negative 21, 3, 12, negative 2. So we can't divide both sides by matrix A because that's not defined, so we're going to multiply on the left by A inverse. So you find the inverse of A, so we've got 1 over 2 times 4 is 8, Minus negative 7 times negative 1 is 7, 4, 7, 1, 2. So A inverse, 8 minus 7 is just 1, so 1 over 1 is 1 times this matrix just gives it back to us, so our inverse is 4, 7, 1, 2. So we're going to multiply on the left 
for both sides of the equation. So the left of the left side and the left of the right side. And here you do just the straight up matrix multiplication that we've been doing. For example, I'm not going to go through all the steps, but I'll do it for the first one. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 7 times negative 1. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. 8 plus negative 7 is 0. Uh, that's not right. 8 plus negative 7 is 1. I'm so silly. Um, and so that's where we get the 1 here. I'll do one more since I was goofy on that one. So now we're ready to do first row times first column. We get 4 times negative 7 is negative 28, plus 7 times 4 is 28. Negative 28 plus 28 is 0. And now you go to the second row, first column, and you get 0. Second row, um, second column, and you get 1. So look, we got our identity matrix. That's what we wanted to get. Now over here, we're going to get our product, our actual answer. And so again, it's first row times first column gives us 0. First row times second column gives us negative 2, and so on. Do second row first column and get 3. Second row second column and get negative 1. Well, the identity times x preserves the identity of x, and so we get x equals our product, 0, negative 2, 3, negative 1. So that is the solution to our equation. All right, now, 3 by 3 matrices can have an inverse and we can do it by hand, it's just not very much fun. So I'm going to show you how to do this using your CAS. So if you don't have it with you, go get it. And then we're going to use the calculator to multiply um, this matrix A by the inverse or what we think is the inverse that we get and make sure it comes out to be the identity. All right, so you're going to go to your scratch pad and you're going to choose the same um, key you go to to get a fraction. It's the one right by 9 and right by the library key. And you're going to choose the... Uh, this matrix one, not the two by two or the row or the column, but the one next to it, because that way we can pick how many um, rows and columns we want. And we're going to select three and three. All right, this is what you should get once you select that and say, okay. All right, now just go through and enter values as you go across. Just do two and then arrow over to one, arrow over to negative two, and so on. Okay, once you get that, then you're going to click outside of the matrix and you're going to select the caret key, the one that the little rooftop key, so that you get a superscript. And you're going to put negative one there, and then you're going to press enter. And boom, it gives you the inverse matrix. So write this down, write A inverse equals, and put this matrix. Okay, now we're going to make sure that that is the matrix by multiplying. We're going to take our original. The 2, 1, negative 2, 5, 3, 0, you can either cut and paste it in or just retype it in and then do times. And then either cut and paste or type in your inverse matrix. Then press equals and boom, you get the 3 by 3 identity. We've proven, we've shown that these two are um, inverses of each other. All right, we're going to use a matrix to say, uh, matrix to inverse matrix to solve the linear system, 2x minus 3y equals 19, x plus 4y equals negative 7. You need to make sure your x's are lined up, your y's are lined up, and your constants are lined up like when you're doing elimination. And we're going to write this system as a matrix equation. And so we're going to do the coefficient matrix. Okay, and so we'll have the coefficients from the first equation, so 2 and negative 3, and then in the coefficients of the second equation, 1 and 4. Then we have a column vari uh, matrix with our variables. And so we just go in order from top to bottom. So our first variable was x, then our next variable was y. And then that's going to equal our constants. So 19 goes with the first equation, negative 7 goes with the second equation. So we've got our matrix um, equation set up. So now we want to find the ma inverse matrix of A. And you might want to practice doing a few of them by hand, but you could also put this in the calculator. And you would get 4, 11, four elevenths, 3 elevenths, negative 1 eleventh, and 2 elevenths. All right, we're going to multiply on the left. You really only have to do this on the right-hand side of the equation because you know on the left it's going to multiply away a and give you the identity. So you know it's going to be x equals. You just need to do a inverse on the left-hand side of b. So a inverse times b. And if you do your matrix multiplication, if you do the 4 elevenths times 19 plus um, 3 elevenths times negative 7, you're going to get 5. And then go back and do the second row by the first column. So negative 1 elevenths times 19 plus 2 elevenths times negative 7, and you get negative 3. So that means x is 5 and y is negative 3. And so you just write it as an ordered pair. 
to check, you just go and put the x value in, in for x, the y value in for y, and make sure you end up with true statements for both equations. All right, let's look at a word problem. A company sells three types of movie gift basket. A basic basket with two, with two movie passes and one package of microwave popcorn costs $15.50. A medium basket with two movie passes, two packages of popcorn, and one DVD costs $37. A super basket with four movie passes three packages of popcorn, and two DVDs cost $72.50. We want to find the cost of each item in the gift baskets. So let's set up our equations. So our first equation is for the cost of a basic basket, and that's going to be two times the cost of the movie pass plus the cost of the popcorn. There's zero DVDs in it, so we don't have to write that down. Two times the cost of the movie pass plus two times the cost of popcorn plus the cost of DVD gives us the cost of the medium basket four times the cost of a movie pass, plus three times the cost of popcorn, plus two times the cost of a DVD equals the cost of a super basket. So let's fill in variables. Makes sense for M to be movie pass, be the cost of the movie pass, P be the cost of the package of popcorn, and D be the cost of a DVD. So our first equation is 2M plus P equals 1550. Our second one is 2M plus 2P plus D equals 37. And our final one is 4M plus 3P plus 2D equals 72.50. All right, so we're going to rewrite the system as a matrix equation. So we need our, our um, coefficient matrix. So our coefficient of M in the first equation is 2. We have an understood 1 there for the P. All right, D's not on there, so that means we have 0 DVDs, so we hold that spot with a 0 because that's how many DVDs we have. Then we do our second row, so 2, 2, an understood 1, 4, 3, 2. And then we list our, our variables in order in a column matrix, so MPD equals, and then we have our constants, 15, 50, 37, 72, 50. All right, so here's the cool thing. We know we want to do A inverse times B, so we can just type that exactly, just that into our calculator. Look, we can do the... A matrix, the coefficient matrix, so 2, 1, 0, etc. Inverse, and then times, you've got to tell it times, and then your um, constant matrix, and then press enter, and boom, it takes you to the answer. So 7, 1 1.5, 20. So that means the movie passes cost $7 a piece, popcorn costs $1.50 a piece, and a DVD costs $20. Okay, guys, that's it for examples. Um, make sure you do the problems to try on your own, and I will see you in class. Thank you very much. Have a good day.